Video problem number 30, calculations using molar mass, so a little more molar mass calculations here. So let's see what we got. Determine the mass in grams of 5 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of copper 2 chloride. So first let's figure out what copper 2 chloride is because I think I'm going to need it. Uh, copper has a charge of plus 2, that's what the 2 tells me. Chloride is negative 1, so the formula ends up being CuCl2. Okay, it's equal to 0. And I want to convert from molecules to grams. So first I'm going to have to go from molecules to moles and then from moles to grams. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out here. 5.00 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CuCl2. And I'm going to convert that to moles. For every one mole, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So molecules cancel out, so I end up with moles of CuCl2. Let's go ahead and get that, what that is. So that's 5 e to the 23rd divided by 6.022 e to the 23rd and I get a value of 0 0.830 now don't round it, leave that number in your calculator but that's moles now of CuCl2 All right. but I want grams so I'm going to bring that moles down here 0 0.830 moles of CuCl2 and I'm going to convert that to grams so I got moles on bottom, grams on top. Anytime you see grams over moles or moles over grams, you're talking about molar mass of whatever's in front of it. And so I need to get the molar mass of CuCl2. So I'm going to do that up here, actually, because so, I'm sort of running out of room. So let's see, molar mass of CuCl2. I've got a copper, which each copper weighs something like 63.55. And then I've got two chlorines. So each chlorine weighs 35.45 times 2. So just add that up. So we get a value of 134.45 oh yeah, grams per mole. All right. So 134.45 grams goes in there. One mole down there. So that's going to be 0.83. Or actually, I'm going to go and grab that number in my calculator. So it's going to be that 0.83 long number that's in my calculator times 134.45 and I get a value of 111 uh, and that's three sig figs, I should have three sig figs, so it's actually 112 because my actual number was 111.6 something or rather, so uh, 112 uh, moles cancel out, grams, CuCl2 does not cancel out, so there you go. And then this question down here, how many molecules, and I put molecules in parentheses because really we'd be talking about formula units because this is an ionic compound. How many molecules are in 8.25 grams of barium nitrate? So let's get the formula for barium nitrate first. There's barium, there's nitrate, so the formula is going to be BaNO3 in parentheses 2. All right, so um, let's see. Okay, so uh, how many molecules are in 8.25 grams of barium nitrate? I had to pause the video. My furnace turned on. It's loud when my furnace turns on. Sorry about that. So um, we're, start, we're starting out with grams. So we're going to convert from grams to moles and then from moles to molecules. Okay, so uh, I've got 8.25 grams of barium nitrate. And first I want to go to moles. So I'm going to put moles on top, grams on bottom. Grams cancel out. Anytime I have moles over grams or grams over moles, I'm talking about molar mass of whatever is in front of it. So in this case, it's going to be the molar mass of barium nitrate. So let's calculate that down here. I've got one barium, which barium weighs 137.3 grams. I've got two nitrogens. So each nitrogen is 14.01, I believe, and I'll check it here in a second. Then I've got six oxygens. So that's 16 times six. Let's check that nitrogen again real quick. Yeah, nitrogen right there looks good. So uh, let's add that up. I've got calculator on 137.3 plus 14.01 times two. 
plus 16 times 6. Negative value of 261.32. That's how many grams are in one mole of that substance. So one mole, 261.32 grams. So 8.25 divided by that value. And that'll give me the number of moles, which is 0 0.03157. And again, I'm going to keep that number in my calculator so I can use it here in a second. Because that's moles, but I don't want moles. I want molecules or formula units, if you want to be exact. That's moles of barium nitrate. And so I want to get to uh, molecules. I want to get rid of moles. And so for every one mole, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So I'm just going to take that number and multiply by Avogadro's number. 6.022 E23, and I get a value of 1.90 times 10 to the 22nd molecules. And that's molecules of barium nitrate. Okay? So there you go. Molecules to mole, or molecules to grams, grams to molecules.